May it please the court, I am Ella Crosswell and we the plaintiffs without a doubt believe that the land developers and dairy farmers are guilty. Polluting is not a necessary action in order to successfully fulfill their job. The prosecution has proof that there are many ways that the dairy farmers and land developers could have prevented the amount of pollution they have caused. We are asking for an amount of $500,000 from the dairy farmers and the land developers to help pay for the harm they have created in the environment. Our burden of proof is shown as the arguments that the defenders have, the prosecution has arguments that our the defenders, due to the fact that we as the prosecution have revealed methods that can be effectively used to solve the problems that the defendants have stated. Mulch blankets and rotating crops prevent soil erosion since they provide healthier soil. This means that pesticides can be used while still not polluting at all. The Chesapeake Bay Farm Bill provides assistance, funding, and management that can efficiently be used to decrease all amounts of manure in the bay with fences and more. This shows that the regular tasks they do don't get affected by the solution. A tree bond limits forest land use that will act as natural barriers to soak in all road salt and machinery pollution. The opposing side has spoken and said machinery and road salt pollution is needed. But our arguments provide a solution to using machinery and salt while still capturing all the pollution. Sediment barriers can also maintain pollution from machinery and construction that is needed to accomplish their work as well. The Pollution Prevention Act enables the developers with funding and management to stop pollution and sustainable homes or successful housing that can benefit the environment and the developers. From these solutions, you can see that the defendants have flaws in their evidence as the problems they face to prevent all pollution could have been prevented previously with these solutions. Just think of it this way. If we do not try to stop the pollution coming into the bay, we are losing a natural beauty. The still water of the bay hides a whole other world down below, but as each drop of pollution sinks through the surface, the underwater world perishes. The clear and blue water we always love to see when we visit the Chesapeake Bay will eventually die into a murky nothingness the more we pollute. We can't forget about this. If we keep polluting, the Chesapeake Bay won't be something future generations can enjoy. I'm Ella Crosswell, and that is all from the prosecution. Thank you.